103.3 Amp Radio at another Amp Live, baby. Let's go with, come on, Craig David. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? Oh, my God. He's touching me. Can I tell <laughs> you, I'm freaking out because let's talk about seven days. Fill me in. Okay. We are talking like my solid high school prime days. If you would have told my younger self that I would be interviewing you one day, I would have laughed and laughed and laughed. And here I am. And he touched my arm. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, I'm freaking wow. out. I'm so excited. Thank you. You're so welcome. And I'm glad you're here. Uh, when we found out we were doing an Amp Live with you, I was like, come on. Stop it. And they're like, yes. So you have this whole thing going on that I want to talk about in a minute. TS5. Okay. We're going to get into that. Okay. But before we do, like, how are you? What are you doing? Like, let's talk about you for a second. Um, do you know, What's I'm just... been going on? I'm just really, really good. It's like it's one of those things that I feel like that 17-year-old kid who was right. making film me in, in and, and seven days and walking away in that first album. But it's the, over the years, I kind of just it kind of has reset things and kind of prioritized what really makes me happy, mm -hmm. and that's just empowering people with music, Absolutely. realizing that it's not so much about what chart position you go into and. Um, what st statistics and how many records you sold mm -hmm. is actually all the number parts of it, right? Yeah, which you, you you can't help but kind of like that that tries to get you when you when you when you've had success. You, Absolutely, it to, you start to define yourself by certain numbers. Mm -hmm. But now I just realized that it's just making timestamps in people's lives. I want it to be a memory that you remember tonight, and you'll go away and remember that song, and you're with this friend, right? And you had this moment, and then you're in. It's in your DNA. You will yeah. always remember that, and that for me is like bigger than any award you can ever get do you know what I mean so absolutely well and it's too funny like in this day and age where we're all kind of through our, our cell phones and stuff it's one of those things where like enjoy the moment right mm -hmm. like you want to take pictures and, and have the memories but like a lot of the memories in here I mean obviously I was talking about you know high school I mean we didn't have pictures to take then like mm -hmm. it was all here I mean it was like this nostalgia that came back when we were talking about you and like I feel maybe that's kind of the vibe you're setting. You know, we're going to get it into TS5, which has this house, house party vibe that we were just kind of talking about. And it's it's something that, like, you want to recreate, right? Because it's, like, something that you feel at this one moment in time that happened with you in Miami, and now you're going everywhere and, and you're giving it to everybody, right? Yeah, I mean, I for me, it's like there's such a fine line to sort of straddle with, with throwback and nostalgia because mm -hmm. then you can be heritage it can be like oh yeah we love the tune from way back in the day right or, but to be relevant to the 14 15 year old kid who in, to be honest would never doesn't may not even know who i am at all and right. the first song they've ever heard is i know you with featuring bastille so when you are able to kind of dip into all of that great stuff from back then but then work with all these young up-and-coming producers so I've, with this Kate Trinada and gold link song on the new mm -hmm. album that's called live in the moment which we're talking about living in the moment right hello and it's like th th when you start to you can have the r&b feels from the 90s 2000s but you need to kind of lean into the, the newer lmas who are coming through and mm -hmm. the aj tracy's and jp cooper's because for, for me, otherwise you do fall into, we could come and just do seven days and get a rapper from now and, and all of a sudden you're we trying don't to play that. it we out like you're new. Because no one will buy that. And I, yeah. even I know that. And it's been the most liberating thing. To, yeah. To, to be, don't, without having to tell the story of, oh, I did this and I did that and this is what records are. Just be like, I'm brand new if you want me to be brand new. Yep. And if you want to find Seven Days and all those tunes. From, you can find that they're too. They're there for you too. And it's it's amazing. I love it. It's crazy because it's like at the same time that it's nostalgia for some people. Mm -mm. For the people, like you said, that might not be younger and don't know those songs. You're creating it for them down the road, right? Like yeah. these songs that are new right now, it's going to be something it's for the, them down the road. It's crazy. It's their new moment where they'll remember being like a teenager listening to those songs. That's the most incredible thing for me this time around and also it's not to uh to neglect and say oh, my loyal fans who've been with me from day one because no. they i know what they want because they would just want me to do they want me to be on my board to do it flex yep. they want me on my r&b storytelling flow yeah i know do you know what I mean? So I know, I'm like, I'm all, yep, I'm one of them, it's fine. <laughs> so, so that's what I mean. So as long as yeah. I do that, but in a fresh new way and, and just be open to new and exciting things as opposed to telling everybody what I did, what I've done, it's, that's where the fun starts to happen all over Absolutely. again. Absolutely. Oh, God, I'm so excited. Okay, so you're doing it tonight. Let's talk a little bit about this, this TS5 and what goes on and, and what people can expect from that. Okay, so TS5 originated as a house party in Miami when I moved there five, five six years ago. Um, I was a little bit over the kind of going to the clubs and 
the kind of elitist sort of VIP thing, which is no, not to knock anyone, but no, it just, but I, I was, get it. I could see a bit clearer. I was like, everyone's worshiping this wooden table with a vodka bowl on it. It's like, come on, bro. It's right. like this is not this is not where everything goes. This down. isn't all there is. There is to other it. things outside yep. of this this red rope. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I'm looking at the people outside the red rope turning up, having space, maybe more fun, drink not spilling all over them. They're going to the restroom when they can, go to the bar, and I'm thinking. I'm in the VIP, VIP right now, drink spilling. And I feel man's stuck. Chatting out my ears, like telling me. Yeah. And you're thinking, this is supposed to be fun. So I, I took it into my home and I sort of opened my doors to my close friends who then invited their close friends. So it became very exclusive. Mm -hmm. And I was hosting the party. So I was playing loads of tunes, playing some throwbacks. playing. The, I actually wasn't playing any of mine until people were like, oh, go on, sing. sing do me it, do tunes, it. Sing, sing me, fill me in, sing me, fill me in. And I'd be like, ah. And then some pretty girl says, oh, can you sing me, fill me Maybe I could do okay. a verse. Maybe All right, the pretty girl asked. Did you want one yeah. verse? <laughs> Did you want me to do it twice? Yeah. Oh, I can do it three times. However many you want, <laughs> yeah. No, totally. So then we started to introduce it. But this is kind of like the, the sort of destiny silver lining that sort of happened is that those moments start to curate what TS5 is now because now I play my own songs with some brand new instrumentals and I'll freestyle something over that and then I'll throw it in a throwback from someone else and it's coming in and out of the booth because I used to DJ before the first album born mm -hmm. to do it but I wasn't able to take that on when I it was so quick for me from being like young kid with a couple of hopes and dreams and next thing I was in arenas and it was like to bring this DJing thing was it just wouldn't have happened at that time and Te DJing wasn't as big then yeah, either and technology like technology was a bit behind it was very well. different mm -hmm. I hone my craft though weirdly enough like when the needle was jumping and stuff and you're in a crowd and and the, the, it's fight or flight they're looking at you like what you're gonna do <laughs> that's where I had to jump on the mic freestyle while my other hands trying to get another vinyl to put on so I right I learned a lot from it but to do that now as a, as a TS5 set would take too long to queue up the record and I need the technology now for me to be so quick. Right. But if it all shut down, I know I can just like handle it. Grab easy. the mic yeah, and go. Yeah, it's just, it's a wave. Ugh, so people are going to be sing. in for a treat. I can't wait. I'm one of those people, <clears throat> like, trust me, I like work here, but you're going to like see me in the crowd all like, hi. <laughs> Please, I want you to lose yourself. I want you to feel like the 16, 17 year old kid who was just quoting those songs. That you I heard. already that's do. The, that's the yeah. feel. Because we're all big kids. We try and play out the responsible oh, adult kind of life. But when you, you actually are a kid is when you were actually having yeah. the most fun. Adulting is awful, by the way. All the kids that are so out there, I remember right when, remember when you couldn't wait to grow up and everyone was like, no, take your time, take your time. You're like, you don't know what you're talking about. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm the old person that's telling the kids, listen, take your time, take your time. Because ain't that the truth? <sighs> You Paying bills and all that? No, just enjoy it. God, enjoy life. Yeah. It's so true. It's so well, true. I'm super excited you're here. I know everyone upstairs here is, and, you know, we have to take callers and, and do these winners as you do in radio, and everyone's just floored that you're here. So I'm so excited. I hate Thank to be you. the one that fangirls out because I'm supposed to be, like, you know, the professional one during the interview. No, listen. I'm fangirling out. It's do, fine. I'm going to, like, lay it out for you right now. So, do you know the beauty of it is that it's – it's all love. It's all passion. And, and I is. like when people just, just let it let it flow. Do you know what I mean? Right? That's why it's been so exciting for me. Coming back to the America, especially with like with, with new music, but yet I know there's tunes from back in the day. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of people would just be like, oh, yeah, I had this guy called Craig David. He, he's got this new tune. I know you. This it's some kind of, it's got this R&B thing going on. I love that. Because yeah. that's just like, a lot of people be like, what? What do you mean you don't know about? No, I'm like, yeah, I'll be that new guy. You like it? And I love yeah. it. So that's why it's I like reinventing yourself a little bit, right? Yeah, so that's why tonight it'll be like just throwing in a couple of those little bad boys and, and then giving like you it. some of the tunes that everyone wants as well, too. Like it. I'm excited. Well, we appreciate you being here. Like I said, everyone's pumped. So I can't wait. Thank you. T minus a few minutes and it's all going to happen. So thanks for being here. My love. absolute pleasure. Thank right. you so much. Absolutely. Peace.